Alright, so for most people here, this might just come across as, you know, another summoning video. Pretty typical, nothing special. Uh, just a heads up though, this is going to be a very long intro, so skip to the timestamp in the video description if you just kind of want to get straight into the summoning bit. Uh, this video is made for those people who've been following my series called Road to Free to Play. Uh, it's more or less of a conclusion to that series, so that's why the intro is so long. Anyways, about roughly a year ago, I started a little series on my channel called Fire Emblem Heroes Road to Free to Play. It was a series where I showed my transition from a pay to win player, a whale, a dolphin, whatever the case, to a free to play player. Now I use this in the context that I have stopped spending. I'm not saying I'm free to play or true free to play in the sense many people who use the term believe, you know, once a paying account can never become free to play, I, I get that. I'm not here to argue that point. I'm also not here to prove anything by saying I can beat, you know, whatever content or with or without OP units and such. I'm addressing these because I've seen these get tossed around here and there. So, let me just once again clarify the purpose of the series. It is to show me, a former paying player, stopping the urge to spend and sustaining that urge and eventually dissipating it. There's nothing else. I just don't want to name it like a paying player transition to a non-paying player. That wouldn't make like a really good title or anything. Like people don't look that shit up. So um, please understand. Anyways, so at the beginning of the series, I gave you guys my word that I would never spend on this game again. I remember the urge to spend being so strong that I needed something to really tie myself down with. I bet on my integrity with you guys. Uh, if there was something that I believed in stronger, I could, you know, maybe suppress my urge. So basically, it's kind of like, yeah, sure, I could go spin, but if I spin, I will break my word and my sense of integrity would like, integrity, why can't I pronounce that word? Would, would stop me because I don't want to go back on my word because I don't want to be someone who would do that nobody could you know stop me strictly speaking but the sense of self betrayal and you know just just guilt would really you know be be really damaging to me mentally so I, I was very very uh, persuaded by myself to not spin because I wanted to hold that integrity. I don't know. I wanted to. I wanted to keep to my word, basically. I gotta say, the first three months were uh, especially tough. I think the first month, especially, really took a toll on me. The urge to spin was, you know, already so strong. I don't, I don't know. Like I guess the comparison often brought up here is. One that's done with, uh, you know, like gambling in real life. I, I, I suppose in the sense that you would spend so much resource for a chance at a fleeting moment of relief and happiness. But it would end so quickly that you would spend so much more to attain that little bit of happiness because for that one small moment where you had it, it felt so good. It was so gratifying that you just wanted to experience it again. It was kind of like a drug, a addicting gambling drug kind of thing. And it, it, it was really hard coming out of a bad spending habit, buying orbs, and then going to like, nah, there's just no way I'm gonna spend anything now um, on this game. You know, so stuff like buying orbs, and rolling for that perfect IV boom and Bane unit that you wanted because uh, back then, you know, the, the Bane really could be the death of your unit. Uh, we didn't have the Bane get rid of type thing that we have now. Uh, very caught up in all of that and one week past me giving my viewers my word, it, you know, it wasn't so bad. Two weeks past wasn't so bad but it started getting harder. Three weeks, I think it was still manageable. Four weeks passed, 
I start to really look for excuses in my head. Like, mm, how could I justify it, you know? Like, how could I be sneaky about it? But I, I, you know, I didn't end up doing that, which is, which is great. But I, I definitely, like, I definitely shook a little bit. <laughs> and then came day 53. I'm, I'm so glad I have these uh, day counter on each of my videos so I can keep track of the progress on my own end. But uh, day 53 was uh, Brian Ninian was, was the unit that I wanted so much. I had saved up orbs for two whole weeks. And for the first time I had saved up 100 plus orbs without resorting to spending whatever money. Like zero dollars at all. It was probably really, really easy and simple to like, I don't know, 90% of you guys out there. Because you guys just... A next level good at this and I'm not <laughs> but um yeah I was just so used to refilling with cash that this this entirely changed the way I was playing the game it was, it was really difficult suppressing the urge like I could afford the orbs but the question wasn't whether I could afford it or not it was more of a should I and the answer like would always be no but I would always get caught up in the moment by the emotional part of it and end up spinning in the past uh, so for the Ninian banner I ended up you know I, I got a video on that so if you guys are interested go check it out but I ended up spending all the saved up orbs I had and it was a descent into madness, basically. Uh, I, I, it, it did not feel good. It felt horrible. I didn't get the unit I wanted, which is like everybody can relate to that. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was really sad, and and it definitely played a part in my playing the game a lot less afterwards type thing. Like at the time, I was still playing the game moderately actively after a month of not spending but then after the whole Brian Ninian ordeal I started playing a lot less because I was so tilted and I couldn't money my way out of this one anymore so I don't know what to do anyways I think it was that I was at my wits end you know it was a very low point like I said before I received some like I got some harsh words from my fellow discord server mates which um you know, some of which have joined my server at the time in response to my first video on, like, the the, uh, the quit spending series of videos. They wanted to see how I would go on with, with the, um, the journey, the, the, you know, the, the trip, the road trip to stop spending. Whether I'd succeed or whether I'd fail, like, 30 days in, you know. Uh, but yeah. Like, I got reprimanded pretty badly for showing signs of my will shaking. Not proud of the fact that I got tempted. I didn't end up doing that, though. I, I didn't budge at the end. Uh, so I, I shook, but I didn't give in. And then from that point onwards, I went about and made a few more videos of my stopping to spin progress. Uh, just keeping people updated. They were few and far between because in truth by moving to a non-spending place now, my engagement with the game had slowed down significantly. I was very used to the high speed progress I was getting out of the game when I was spending money. But now that I've had a taste of the highway and, and sort of back on the slow bus, which, you know, is to be fair, is not that slow. It's just slower than the highway. So uh, basically I couldn't get used to it. The result is that I went on to other games and ventured out to other aspects. I've been talking for a while now. Maybe. I know. I know that's probably the longest ever intro to any summoning videos out there. Ever. And probably 99% of people clicked away already. Unless they did the time skip thing, time stamp thing. Uh, but that's okay. I made this video for the people who have been following and waiting for this day to see me having achieved a non-spending record of 365 consecutive days 
I think I will stop my counter here and just add a plus sign to it from now on. What many of you probably don't realize is that it's it is a little bit of a chore and commitment to log in every single day to just change my name and update the numbers on it. This is more so if it's a game that I sometimes don't play for like days on end. Nowadays, uh, I've gone to play other games, you know, like do other stuff. I could be traveling or just be like out and about. But for the past year, I've always maintained this routine where I log in every single day to change my name. Or pretty much almost every single day. Sometimes I do like... <laughs> I Sometimes I like don't play for like five days straight. I don't remember how long I haven't played. But I would always put in like... If I feel like it's five days, I'll just put in four days. Just so the margin of error is more towards the positive end, you know? Anyways, dragged out intro stops right here. I believe I mentioned something about Bright Minion in my talks earlier. My Discord server certainly won't let me forget about it. These guys and girls pester me all year about my saltiness over not being able to obtain her. They pester me affectionately, of course, and I'm happy that they do. I mean, it's a two-way game. They pester me. I overreact to the salt. But no longer, because today I get my bride Ninian for real. For real this time. This banner just happens to be up right now. I'm getting my bride Ninian using these saved up free orbs. And then there's nothing these fools at my Discord servers can pester me about anymore. <laughs> you fools, you are all but Johns in the snow. You know nothing! <laughs> Alright, I admit that was a little bit over the top, but uh... Yeah, it's about killed my throat there. But let's, let's get on to the summoning now. Alright guys, I uh, went ahead and cleared out my barracks to free up some space so I don't have to keep freeing space mid-summon. Uh, also got some free summons to go off with, so... Okay, so this banner... It's gonna prob probably go with the red. Hope for that free summon 5 star. Probably not gonna happen, but. Oh well. Uh, smoke. So, it could be good, but you never know. Oh! My god. Wow. Okay, well. Uh. Hey. That's great. Hopefully, that's not my entire luck for the night. Like, just gone, just like that. I need some luck in the uh, Brian Minion department, so don't. Yeah, I, I don't know. Alright, so I also got this one. I think for this one, I'm gonna go blue. Because, uh. Now follow whatever the thing is. Now, now follow up B, whatever it's called. I don't even know what the skill's called. I think it's a pretty good skill, but obviously, I'm not gonna get it here, because no smoke. Right, I'm just gonna get a uh, skinny little waist Gwendolyn. I see not much in summoning has changed in my absence. Alright, let's uh... Okay, so the bride's here. This one's first year. Funny thing is I got... For this one, the free summon, I got a uh, bride Lynn. So that was pretty good. That was a few days ago now. And this is the one that I'm actually gonna be focusing on. Let's check the appearance rate. Uh, so, 5 star focus 3% and the 5 star non focus is still 5%. I wonder when that. Uh, they're saying that this is gonna be an update where when you get these new banners, you'll only get like the focus and the 5 star non focus won't be there. And that's like upcoming in a future update. I'm just not entirely sure when that's dropping. So, if you guys know, let me know. Um, I'm just gonna check these guys briefly. I think Bright Ninian, like as a unit, she's not entirely too good. I just want her because she's got some fantastic drawing going on, you know? Like her artwork looks absolutely fantastic, so. I pretty much just want her for the trophy. And I'm just gonna go fo uh, fo focus on the blue orbs all the way and see what I get. Hopefully I didn't use up all my luck in that free summon on the other banner. Uh, 
So I'm gonna get Matilda. Matilda's kind of... She's got that Rider's Bane thing, that's all I know. And she's also got... What's, I, I don't even know the skills. She's got something that's good against non... Like against colorless units, I think. Oh, another Gwendolyn, okay. That's, that's fine, that's fine. Totally expected. Um... I mean, if I got her so, like, if I got her extremely early on, it would just kill the fun of it now, wouldn't it? So, I'm, you know, a little bit of suspense. I'm in for the, okay, so we got the dust. Um, might, might be there. Might, oh, you know what? Lara Shell's not bad. I'll take it. She's got, uh, rest tactics, which is kind of good for your, uh, like, if you use it. If you use it on a unit on your voting gauntlet, because you're always going to get, like... Because people will get your unit, and then they'll have to, like, have a random unit, and then they have one of their units. So, rest tactics always helps out, because chances are all three of the units, like, you're going to not... You're going to meet the threshold for the, um, rest tactic to go off, which is, uh, I forgot, but... There's like a movement type restriction allowed type thing going on there. But since you're only getting three units and it's like from a bigger pool, it's most likely gonna proc. Okay, so Oboro, that's that's alright. Nothing too special there. I don't think there's anything I can say about any of these units. I mean, it's pretty clear by this point how long I've not really been playing the game. Even in the intro, I was just autoing everything, you know? Okay, so no dust, another three star. That's alright. At least we got Robin. He's good for bonfire. That's all I know. Um, I don't even know if he's got like a weapon refinement or anything like that. Uh, but it is whatever. So let's, let's see, can we get. Nope, no dust. Alright. Another Oboro. How fascinating. Um, I don't even know what units I would prefer to be getting. Like, I finished merging my Nally to a plus 10. I think I have pretty much enough Reinhardts to do that. Oh, God. Okay. Um, aside from Bride Ninian, I really don't need anyone else. Uh, was there anybody on Colorless? Because... I know red gives you Tharja, which I'm just gonna go red, you know? Like, there, there might be less of a chance of getting something. I don't know. We'll see. If a, if a pity breaks, it pity breaks. I really cannot control it. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm safe from the pity break. That's good. That's good. I forgot how that felt like, you know? Like, you go on a blue summoning orb marathon thing and then you build up your pity rate and you get no blue orbs and you panic i forgot how bad that feels when uh you're forced to click on a off color and you get a five star and something entirely you don't want it but you have no control so yes bring back memories guys all right subaki i think he's got quick repost that's pretty good nah Let's continue. Just the one blue orb here. Uh, definitely not maximizing on any saving orbs tactic right now. I'm just using five per single summons for Donald's. It's pretty bad actually, but it is what it is. Um, checking my appearance rate, it is 3.5%. I feel like the summoning, like the appearance rate, probably don't matter too entirely too much, anyways. Like sometimes you'd be at three percent and you get something. Sometimes you'd be like five percent and you still get nothing. So it's really uh, okay. That was unexpected, but I think he's a really good unit, right? I never thought I would get this guy. I don't know if he's better or the legendary Hector is better because there's like 5,000 versions 
or six, I don't, I don't know how many versions of this guy now there is. Like I said, I haven't been playing the game. Uh, first one I got, so let's check his IV. So he's got Attack Bane and Speed Boom. Um, well, he's an armor unit. So Speed Boom doesn't sound really that good off the top of what I know about armored units. You know, there's only like, what, three armored guys that are good fast, but... I don't think he's one of them. Attack Bane, that's definitely not too great, but hey, it's better to have him than to like not have him. So I got pretty broken. I'm not entirely too upset because he's a relatively good unit and I've kind of wanted him. So that's okay, but I would prefer it be Bright Ninian, you know? But of course, it's going to be Iffy instead. Armor unit, two armor unit back to back. All right. Um, all right. So that that's kind of weird. So the the good thing is, if I ever get another copy of this guy, the Hector guy, um, then I can get rid of the attack bane because attack bane is probably one of the things you don't want on an armored unit because they generally do hit quite hard. Um, all right. So I got like refreshed rates now because. That guy pity broke me. It could have been worse, right? Like I'm, I'm sure. Like I don't even know what kind of blue units there are, but I'm pretty sure it could have been way worse. So Let's see, we got the dust, the consistent dust, the back-to-back -back dust. I, I thought this guy was colorless, you know. I think I'm having one of those off luck nights where I'm getting five stars, but I'm not getting the five stars that I want. That's uh, like I've never had this guy before. I thought he was colorless. Um, that's how not caught up to the game I am at this point. I'm gonna check his IVs. So he's got a attack. He's got a speed bane and a defense boost. Uh, this is one of the updates. That happened like a month or two ago where you can now see the boons and banes on the character Which is like something I think they should have just gave us straight up during launch date But whatever it's here now and it's here to stay um, Yeah, I think this guy's another is, is he is he armor now he's not he's beast unit, okay, so But I think I think defense boon might be pretty good on this guy. I, I actually don't know. You guys tell me, you know. I, I don't know this now because I'm at like I'm like outdated. Uh, all I know is just I don't have my Brian Ninian yet, and that's upsetting, guys. Oh no, three star. You know, it'd be real funny is if I got like a normal non bridal Ninian, because she's a blue five star, right? And if I got her, it would just be like the ultimate troll. Like, he can have the Ninian, but you can have her as the non-bride version. I actually already have her as the non-bride version. I just want the bride one because it looks really nice. Nah, come on. Oh, wow! Okay, okay wow. Yo. Yo, you... Yo, you guys, you guys in the Discord, what are you gonna do now, huh? You, you can't, you can't meme me anymore. You, you can't, you can't like spam me with assault. I have Bright Ninian right now. I have her, and um, you guys can't. <laughs> that joke is not gonna work anymore. You guys can't like show her in front of me and be like, "Yo, where's your Bright Ninian at?" You guys been doing this for like the whole past. I know, like, ever since Bright Ninian came out and I didn't get her and I showed her on video and I was like all distressed about it. You guys on my Discord server have been mocking me. And now, who's got her now, huh? And what are you guys gonna do now? What? <laughs> That's your jokes. It's, it's, it's gone. It's the, the well is empty. So, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna check her eye. Oh, she's got a speed boon. And she has a attack bane, and an attack bane on a dancer is, you know, it's it's arguably one of the bitter ones, because um, you really don't want to be using your dancers to attack. 
They more of they're more of like a support type unit. So attack Bane, like that's insane. But you know, if I was to run her in Blade Tomb, like with the Blade Tomb. But then if she's running Blade Tomb, who cares about attack Bane? Like she's gonna have jacked up attack anyways, with like home flyers and all the other fortify and all that shit going on. So really doesn't matter. She'd be jacked up either way. Either she's attacking or not attacking. <laughs> Man, that made no sense, but... I have my bright Ninian, and she is, as far as I'm concerned, perfect. Ivy, Boon, and Bane. And... This is really strange, because my other Ninian, the non bright one, is the exact Boon and Bane. I'm, I'm pretty convinced that, um... Intelligent systems, like, they, they say, you know... If we give this guy a Ninian, he it better be plus speed minus attack, like confirmed. Let's check out her artwork. Cause it's been long overdue. Alright. Yeah, remember like last year when I edited the thumbnail for this video? Like it would instead of her tossing her bouquet, I had her tossing away all my orbs in the thumbnail, because I thought that was pretty funny. I don't know. But, like, literally that was what happened, was I tossed all my orbs at her, and then she threw them all back at me and gave me nothing. But now this year, I don't know what it is, but just look at the amount, insane amount of 5 stars that I got tonight. Like, when I got the free, what's his name? I can't even remember, Leaf, right? I should know this, I'm... Like my, I'm Mighty Leafy, right? My username is Mighty Leafy, and I don't even know this guy's name who's called Leaf. What the fuck? Um, and then I get like, what, what's the other, the the Hector guy, right? As a pity breaker, and then I get Mordecai, who I keep thinking about the Johnny Depp adaptation, the movie, the live action movie thing, and then I'm like, like in my head, I'm like, I'm done for the night. Like this is it. I cannot like. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get two five stars with 90 orbs, let alone three, and I just got three, there's no way I'm gonna get Bright Ninian. I'm just gonna use up all my orbs and let it play out the way it is. And literally, she shows up out of nowhere. So I'm, I'm pretty ec ecstatic right now because, I don't know, this is just like, it's, it's like a good ending to the conclusion of the road to free to play like I stopped my spinning curb my spinning for I stopped my spinning for 365 consecutive days I had a major upset the last time Brian Ninian came out it shook my core I nearly broke down and I nearly spent but I didn't and I pushed on one month two month three month and so forth like it got easier and easier because I started losing more interest in the game which good or bad you decide but the fact that I remained a non-spender for this duration like breaking the cycle of spending and then at the end of it to have just to be able to record this sort of good outcome for you guys like I don't know, it's, it's been like a year now since I made a promise to you guys, like I gave you guys my word that I wouldn't spend, and for this to end on such a positive note, and in a gacha game, where everything and anything, it, like it's, you cannot plan this, like I, I didn't, I didn't plan this, I didn't plan getting her, right, it's complete RNG, and here it is, like I got her, what else could I ask for? Like, what more could I ask for? I could ask for another one. But nah, I, I don't... <laughs> I, I'm not gonna be like that. Okay, so... But, anyways, here she is. I'm extremely happy. This is the best conclusion there can be uh, for this series. And I think on that note, I am just going to end the video there. Thank you guys for keeping up with my Road to Free to Play series. 
for an entire year. For those of you who have been keeping up with it, for those of you who are interested in what all this fuss is about,、um, there'll be links to the beginning of the series and all the episodes in the video description down below. If you want to check out my Discord server and come chat about, I don't know, Fire Emblem Heroes. There's people still in my Discord server that play the game. I play it a lot less nowadays, but I still play it a little bit. If you're interested in anime or art-related stuff, as you can see, my channel is now more art, art-oriented, orient, oriented, oriented. I, I don't know.、Uh, Yeah, feel free to check that out. Also, there'll be like some other social media links and stuff down in the video description below,、uh, as well as the Discord link. So, again, thank you guys for keeping it up with you know keeping up with the series. Like, I'm I'm pretty tired from just const the the constant the whole keeping track of it, and I felt like I really needed. To finish with a conclusion video at a certain point, I felt that 365 days was like a good point to call it a stop. I'm still not gonna spin on it. I think at this point, you guys can just like trust me on this. I'm never gonna spin on this game.、Um, I'm leaving it at a 365 plus, and you know. Like I'm even losing interest in the game as time goes on. So like, really, when you quit spending, it's it's the first three months, especially the first month that's like the hardest. So, anyways, long winded outro. Sorry about that. Thank you guys once again. And that being said, I'll catch you guys next time.